What's happening, all my brothers and sisters of the blade? I want to start this video out today. I want to give a shout out to Shredder. Awesome channel. You guys check him out. Choir Boys Cutlery, another super fantastic channel with a great message. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Cowboy C. Bob, my brother up in Philly, and uh, Captain Electro, Backyard Samurai. Carl Ruger, Pete Morsey, Paul Myers, a um, lot of great guys, a lot of great channels, Becky Styles, just an awesome lady, and um, let's get this party started. Today I want to bring to you a uh, new blade I got, it's going in the war chest, this is an addition to my K-Bar collection, this is the model 1266 Modified Tanto. Now what I like about this blade is its shape. It's one inch longer than a standard K-Bar, so you're getting eight inches. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful handle, beautiful blade, beautiful guard. Everything about this knife is just 100% with me. If you'll notice, it has a really long false edge at the top, about five and a half inches, I believe. Brother, it wouldn't take much for somebody to turn this thing into a evil stick, I'll tell you. But I don't modify my blades any, so this will go into the chest just like it is. Um, I love K-Bar. I love their history. I love their designs. There is no way to make them better. There's no way to change them around. They're just an awesome, awesome blade, and they're an awesome knife company. I have probably 20 different K-Bars in my collection. I love each and every one of them. They are just awesome knives. Um, they have been the go-to weapon for our military forces for quite a while. And uh, I, I just couldn't imagine the lives that have been saved by the use of a K-Bar knife. So, saying that, we're going to look at the handle, which is the black creatine type handle. It's been pinned and peened. Um, has USA 1266 on this side, K-Bar Orlean New York on the other side. I may actually do the white enamel on the USA and the 1266. That works really good and it looks really cool when you highlight the USA on a K-Bar. It really does, and it can be took off for just a little mineral spirit. So it's really cool. Man, this thing has a wicked edge. It comes razor sharp. I really like this knife. I really like the sheath. It's a high impact plastic. It's not really Kydex, but it's built like a tank. A lot of lashing points. I really like this. You have a retention strap here, and you also have one at the pommel of the blade, which is really cool. It really is. It'll hold a big two-inch wide belt. It's got really nice rivets on the back. This is an awesome setup, guys. It really is. If you're a collector of K-Bars, man, you got to add this one. You got to add this one. It's just an amazing piece of history, and it's, it's, it just feels so good in the hand, man. That's what I like about a K-Bar. It just feels so good in the hand. I don't know if they make this in the stack leather. I would like to have a copy of it in the stack leather if they did, but if not, I can suffice with the creatine. That's really nice handled material right there. Well... I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch my videos. And uh, if the weather stays as good as it is right now, this weekend, I'm definitely going to be doing some jug killing. And uh, I done honed old Sally a little bit, so I may break her out uh, tomorrow sometime and do some swiping at it. And there's a couple of more blades that I want to do some jug killing with. So I will definitely be getting back with you guys this weekend. 
Um, I appreciate all of y'all's comments on my CRKT collection, on my charade. Um, I love hearing from you guys, man. Y'all have always been super nice to me, and y'all are just an awesome group of people. All right, guys, everybody stay safe. And, uh, hey, if y'all get a chance, check out this channel called Swords and Stuff. Really cool guy. He's doing some backyard cutting. And uh, he don't mind taking a little advice. And, hey, he's just a really cool guy to watch. He's got a pretty cool channel. Swords and Stuff. I believe that's the name of it. Lord, I hope I didn't screw that up. But uh, you guys take it easy out there, and let's remember 22 vets a day commit suicide in the United States. Let's bring awareness to this, and uh, let's get the word out, man. Maybe we can change somebody's life. Maybe we can save somebody. How awesome would that be? All right, man, this is Donovan from Mississippi. Y'all have a good one.